Why are we crossing here? There's a crosswalk at the next intersection. Just living up to the family name. Don't know where I got a name like Jay Walker? From now on, I'm gonna break every rule I can. Be cautious, dude. Some rules do make sense, even if those who enforce them are corrupt. Well, you have to admit, if there were no government to enforce rules, we never would have gotten into this mess in the first place. Yes, we'd be in a very different mess altogether. at your service. Hobo Kobe, man! How's it been? I haven't seen you in forever. Mr. Loco, we need to get to the hideout fast. The police may want to know where it is. Sure thing. Hop in. Wait a minute. Who's this kid? I'm Duke J. Walker, and I've always wanted to join the Rebels. Uh-huh. Yeah, kid. Um, that's the oldest line in the book. You know, how do I know you're not working for the cops? We can trust him. I've lived in his closet for seven years. Yeah, well, how do I know you haven't switched sides again? You gotta give me some kind of proof. The Princess Fair already sent their location. It's six in Alder. But she had to send it by email, and so the police may have already cracked it. Duke and I will get there any way we can, but we prefer someone who knows how to dodge police cars. You've got police training, why don't you drive? That was a long time ago. I'm getting old, and even if I wasn't, I don't have the grand local touch. All right, all right, get in. Please, Princess. Your father has to know where you've been hanging out. Oh, so you can run it over with a giant bulldozer. Very fatherly. Sir, the Koreans say the email is Chinese. They must be lying, sir. Why would Kobe have said it was Korean? He's probably aware of our hidden camera system. Most people are. What? How? We can probably blame George Orwell. A lot of people still have copies of 1984 lying around. We spent as much time burning them as we did Fahrenheit 451. Well, we wouldn't have time to watch the cameras. Now, do we have any Chinese speakers on staff? I'll check the minimum wage division. You really are loco. Mr. Kobe, this guy's gonna get us all killed. Calm down, Duke. We're out of the worst traffic now. And anyhow, I trust Mr. Loco with life. Now, it's time to learn how to throw some forks. Roll down your window and see if you can't hit some tires. These are spoons. They aren't gonna do any damage. Of course not. Our goal is not in harming the innocent. Now, aim for the front tire of the car in the next lane and behind us. How many of these can you afford to lose, anyway? Don't worry. You can't you have plenty more in the glove box. Yep. Seven 12-piece dinner sets. Liberated straight from the factory. Courtesy of my worker friends. You see, Ghana is a communist. Way cool. I thought they were extinct. Far from it. Now, try throwing again. So who is this Princess Faya person, anyway? The rebel operative that stole the blueprints I now have on this disc. Right. But isn't Faya Spanish for ugly? Yeah, she chose that name to show that she's proud of not conforming to dominant standards of beauty. Um, okay. But is she actually ugly? Nah, not really. But don't get any ideas, kid. She's mine. Okay. Now wait a second. You can't say that if you don't believe in private property, now can you? Aw, oh, Fork, we got trouble. Kobe, get down in case they recognize you. Whoa, is that what I think it is? I've seen them on the war reports, but... Damn it, 
They probably already know where the hideout is. Got him. As soon as you're out of the view, go ahead and pull to the emergency lane and let me out. I'll try to sneak on board and gain control while you and the other rebels look over these blueprints. Here, just in case we catch up with you. Wait a minute, you can't take on all those police and army guys single-handedly. I'm going with you. Sorry, Duke. You would only get in the way. I must go alone. May the fox be with you. Great. I guess I'm stuck with the fare, too. Nah. Us communists don't take money when we don't have to. Well, I was broke anyhow, but thanks. Homeland insecurity. Come on in. What's this? You heard of the death car? Those are the plans. I got them from Holo Kobe. What do we need with those? They're bringing one here. They'll be here inside of 10 minutes. They're gonna demolish the entire building unless Kobe finds a way to stop them. That's absurd. If the police know where we are, why don't they just come and arrest us? They're probably just trying to make an example out of us. Or make us look even more dangerous by overreacting. Of course, we can be out of here and packed up within about five minutes and find a new hideout. But if we bring down the death car, it'll be all over the news. Thank you to publicity. Police try to use military vehicle against American civilians. The president will have had to have known of it. We could get him impeached. Well, I'm not so sure. But the kid does have a point. It might be worth a shot. All right, let's take a look. Don't you recognize me? No, uh... Oh, wait a, wait a minute, you were that guy we're supposed to arrest, uh, Kobo something. All right, I suppose I was before your time. What? My regular police service, that is. For years now, I've been working undercover for the Department of Homeland Securities, infiltrating suspect terrorist cells. Damn it, I knew we never should have trusted an ex-policeman. Wait a second, Homeland still employs Asians? When it suits the purposes. I'm here to warn you that the group known as the Rebels is more dangerous than we have feared. Dangerous enough, perhaps, to warrant the use of this vehicle as more than just an example. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Okay, so those blueprints she sent you, uh, you didn't pass them on to the other Rebels, did you? I had no choice. If I had refused, it would have blown my cover and they would have killed me. The fork throwing is just the front for a powerful, well-armed organization. They may be capable of destroying this vehicle and launch an attack at any time. Why didn't you stay with them and prevent the attack? Another agent is attempting to do so, but he may not be successful. All right, funny, that's enough lying to your brother. Are you going down there, sir? Do you want backup? <clears throat> no, this is not your job. The father has to be the authority figure. You stay here and watch the camera. Yes, sir. So that's why I need immediate access to the onboard computer systems. Sheesh, this guy's old enough to be his father. 